Hello everyone! Welcome to Jungix channel. No? So I am here in Kuthen, Germany. So at this time, uh, during this uh, video is uh, autumn season. So I cannot go too far from where I live because it's too cold, starting to get cold here in Germany. So join me as we're going to discover one of the small but beautiful towns here in Sachsen-Anhalt, Germany. Kuthen is a town in Germany. It is the capital of the district of Anhalt Bitterfeld in Saxony Anhalt, about 30 kilometers north of Halle. I decided to visit this small town, and when you arrive in the area, you will feel the simple lifestyle of the people living in the place. When you enter the corners, you can already feel the modernization of the place. There are still few infrastructures that have been in place for decades and the design and appearance remain intact. I have noticed that they don't have a train in the city itself that can take passengers all over the place, but instead they have buses and a designated bus stop for the passengers. Here in Germany, I have also noticed that when a community or a province, if it is historical, it is divided into different periods. First is what they call the new city or Neustadt and the second is the old city or the Altstadt. It is not difficult to find or visit the Altstadt or old city of Guten. Most of the good attractions in the area can be found in the old city. You can walk or take a bus to their old city. If you are really new somewhere and are afraid to ride because you might get lost on the route, you can follow the road signs and it will guide you better. I finally reached the old city of Kuthen. Before I went to the city, I looked it up on the internet and I was amazed. When I saw it up close, I was even in love at the beauty of the place. In their old city, we can find the old city hall with ivory paint. It is a tall tower and a big clock, and it is near the church. There are trees planted and benches in front of the entrance of the town hall, and it gives more beauty to the place. This is St. James or Sankt Jakob Church, located near the city hall, and is the name of the now Protestant church and parish within the Church of Anhalt in the city of Guthen, Anhalt, Germany. Constructed around 1400, the church is built in the Gothic style. Since 1525, the parish has been Protestant. The reformer, Johann Schlagenhaufen, was a minister from 1533 until his death in 1560. The building was restored and partly remodeled in the second half of the 19th century. The church holds the Fürstengruft, the burial place of the Dukes of anhalt Kuthen. There are also several members of the family which are buried in representative coffins. The last Duke of Cothen, Henry, from 1778 to 1847, converted to Catholicism and was buried in St. Mary's Church. Not far from the marketplace is a tower known as Term Halle. It was built in 15th century and renovated in 1995. The tower guards the southern gate to Halle. As I continued my tour around the area, I came to a park that looked like a roundabout. The place is actually a passageway for private vehicles. Because the landscape is very well done, you can see big trees and because it's autumn season, it's beautiful to watch because of the different colors of the leaves. It is simply fascinating. In one park, you can see Ludwig's statue. You can hang out and sit on the bench under the tree and watch the beautiful and quiet surroundings. The building itself, if we entered, is a huge park where the Palace of Kuthen stands. There is also a museum that can be visited by tourists in all walks of life. Indeed, Kuthen is worth a visit. I really find the aura of the town relaxing, the color of their buildings, their design, their organized flow of traffic, the plants and trees around complement each other. 
the area is also not boring because there are also many shops where you can buy and restaurants where you can eat and many tourist spots to visit. During my two-hour tour of the historical area of Kuthen, I saw this large church, the Church of St. Martin, built in 1912 until 1914. The church is beautiful, but its front has been turned into a parking area. Currently, it has a youth club. They use the basement rooms for their group activities. I hope that you like this video. Until my next travel, tschüss!